he's just tough. He's just tough. And uh, we just hopeful that AOC gets healthier for the NCAAs. But hats off to Ed Scott. I mean, he can be the defending national champion. Got a great career down at Raleigh. Here comes the crowd favor, Justin McCoy. Two-time NCAA qualifier. He was a runner-up last year, but that was at 157 in the ACC. He is bumped up for Steve Garland, and he will try to take down Jake Winsel, last year's national runner-up. Always stoic in his approach. Never shows any emotion. So similar to his head coach, Keith Gavin, isn't he? Not just Keith Gavin, but Jordan Lean is even keel too. These guys don't get too rattled. What they tell their, their, their student athletes, they want them to be in the same mode, not to get too excited over certain moments, not to get too down, but just continue to wrestle. They're all about progression. They're all about process. So we're going to see Justin McCoy, who Coach Garland says is the best athlete on the team against Jake Wenzel, who's just, just so solid. Wenzel was won back-to-back -back ACC titles. Ironically, last year it was a Cavalier he beat in the finals, only it was Jake Keating a year ago. Pushed the fast-forward button, and now up a weight at this new class at 65. It's McCoy standing in his way. We've seen how you take down Jake Wenzel, and you take down Jake Wenzel, oh, well, he snatched that. Now he's gonna take his time. Last year against Makai Lewis, he took forever. Now he put it up on his shoulder, and he will take his time with this. If you all remember that match at 165 last year with Makai Lewis, he was up for a minute and a half. Jake Wenzel is not gonna panic. Has that leg up top, treetop elevation. Coy tried to spin out of it. Wenzel says, nope, no, you don't. Brings him right back to the center where he has plenty of pasture to work. So the question is, is this a stalemate? Well, no, not quite. But they're looking for something to happen, and Jake Wenzel is going to continue to do his job. And because McCoy is a good athlete, he can hop like this. But we've got a minute and a half left in this period. Oh, he reached for the other leg. Nothing yet. We're going to get to some funk action. Look, keep it rolling. It looks like Jake Wenzel is going to try and put that leg in to get control. Control is established by Jake Wenzel. Like you said, Jake Wenzel is going to take his time in that, sing in that single position. He lifted it and then dove for the other leg, got to the scramble, and came out on top. We're going to find out, Justin McCoy, if he has an idea on how to get out of Jake Wenzel. So here it is. The leg is up. He dives for the other leg gets into a scramble position, and then Jake West was enough, was able to get the leg in to establish control. And right there, the officials say, yeah, control is established. Control is felt. There's nothing in the rule book that says what's control. Control is felt. I know it's early in this match, but this is a pivotal moment here, I think, for McCoy. We all know Winsel is a hammer on top. Now let's find out what McCoy can do underneath. McCoy trying to get the official's attention underneath with the arm placement of Winsel. Winsel readjust, still has the leg in firmly. Good riding position. Yep, this is this is the way that Jake Winsel likes to wrestle. He gets the takedown and then he wants to impose his will on the bottom wrestler. So at this point, can Justin McCoy? Good popping of the hips. Pop the hips and put the leg right back in. So at the end of this period, McCoy's gonna have to make a decision. Do I think I can get out of Jake Wentz or, or do I think of a better shot of scoring from a neutral position? He's up on his feet, has tried to roll through a couple of times. Wenzel just so savvy, knew where he was, knew how much time was remaining, and he will ride him to the second period, a two to nothing lead flipping up the disc and we're going to see decision time. Red choice. McCoy defers and Wenzel goes. He's going to take bottom. One thing for certain, there is going to be a strong fleet of wrestlers for Coach Gavin and Pitt heading to Detroit. 
in a couple of weeks. They, they, they came into the season hoping to get five All-Americans, no less than three. Last year, they had the two national finalists in Bonacorsi and Winsel. Both are back. Winsel near the edge, trying to get away, and out of bounds they go. Nice job by McCoy to stay glued. He stayed glued, and then he got himself out of bounds to stop that five count. The first time you wrestle someone like Jake Wentz, you, you don't realize his strength. You don't realize what it is to be underneath him. I asked Jake Wentz, I said, look, you might have, be the have a chance to be the first three-time ACC champion in pit history. I said, are you excited about that? He said, nah, I'm waiting for two weeks, the Nationals. <laughs> Winsell is away, he ups the ante, now a 3-0 lead, 48 seconds of riding time, so he's not quite to the minute. McCoy, McCoy trying to find some offense on his feet. McCoy definitely needs to score here. He needs to score a takedown, because when it gets to the third period, assuming it gets to the third period, he has to decide to stay on his feet, which is likely the scenario, because right now, Jake Winsell does not have riding time. Both of these wrestlers hail from the state of Pennsylvania. McCoy from New Paris, Chestnut Ridge. Wenzel from South Park. McCoy was a four-time Pennsylvania state place winner. Sean, we've seen Wenzel wrestle, and this is a typical Wenzel match. Take down, escape. Inside, underneath is is McCoy, but again, Wenzel has been in this position before. He's not going to get too panicky. And what Wenzel does, he's just trying to just hold in and make it very uncomfortable for you to do anything. And he feels comfortable here, but at this point, up oh, looks like we could get a neutral danger. Neutral danger. Two, three. That's a takedown, and we're getting back points. And back points. So sad, so sad, so sad. The only team not named North Carolina State, Virginia Tech, to win an ACC title since the 2015 season, Virginia. Some of the shots the last time they hosted here in Charlottesville. They were predicted to finish fourth that year, and they stunned everybody. They built a little early momentum, won some consolation matches, took care of business in the finals. And interesting Happy in that picture. Cavaliers. In that picture, you see Coach Gavin and Coach Lean, who were assistant coaches for that 2010 ACC championship team. Now they're going against their former boss, Coach Garland. And every time you talk to Keith Gavin, he just has nothing but good things to say about his former boss, Garland, and the relationship that they have and continue to have now as rivals in this conference. And he said he learned a lot at his time in Charlottesville. So this is something a little sneaky that, that Wentzel does. He'll try to get his hips across, and if he doesn't get his hips across, he'll try and get his knee to the other side. Still me. Coach Gavin, 2008 NCAA champion. Just a calm, cool character and it just permeates to his team. And he told us his presence in the corner is to remain calm. He says, these guys are already wired. They don't need me out there. Amplifying the enthusiasm. He represents the calm presence. And what a moment it was for him to come back to his alma mater school that he won a national championship at. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing right here is, is Jake Wenzel imposing his style. And that's the challenge that people have is how do you wrestle against someone that is so imposing, not flashy, but he gets the job done. Justin McCoy is extremely athletic. He's quick, he moves well. But Jake Wenzel is just showing that he's the NCAA finalist for a reason. Closing moments of this title bout at 165 that has been dominated from 
pit with Winsel, a 7-0 lead. McCoy says that's enough. And for the third time, Jake Winsel is an ACC champion. Third time. First in ACC history for a pit wrestler to win three ACC championships. Congratulations, Jake Winsel. And here he does. He just takes his time controls the situation, gets the takedown, controls the bottom, gets back points. 